Hello YouTube, I fix it all here, Team I fix it all. I've got my bench test set up. Um, I've got my power supply here. I've got um, a little multimeter that is set up to, let me zoom back a little bit. I'm monitoring my PIP output signal, which is the blue wire. Because my expectations are like 5 to 7 volts DC. But I followed this wiring diagram. So, um, currently the only difference here is that I'm monitoring the PIP with a little analog meter. And I'm set on the 50 volt scale. I know what I'm looking for there. I don't want to go over how to read an analog meter. That's a totally different scope. Um... I don't have my spout wire hooked up. That's the yellow right here. Again, this is my pip. I'm monitoring it with a meter lead and then I've got the other meter lead going over to my battery negative. Dang it, hang tight. Okay, I'm back again. I've got my negative lead tied up right here. Alright, so... These two reds right here are ganged up together. One red leads over to my battery input. which is my power supply. This one right here that looks like a bigger pink one goes to my coil input, which is this big red green. And if you'll notice on the schematic, we've got a wire traveling over to battery positive and these are these two wires here on the pip connector or on the uh, ignition module connector I've got these two wires twisted together and one red wire goes to the battery and the other wire goes to the coil, the power feed, just like the schematic. Okay. The fifth wire down is called your coil lead. That's going to be going to the side of the coil that gets controlled, is given a ground and remove a ground is removed and replaced by the ignition module so that's this little green wire here this little green wire travels around and goes right there on my particular connector I had a spare wire in the same jack And then back to the diagram, my black home runs over to battery ground. Now I'm at a point where I can put a spark tester between battery negative and the coil post. And I have a spark tester right here. But I was wanting to test to see if I could see a nice white spark on an actual spark plug. So I've got me a plug wire put in right there. Let's apply power and see what we get. I'm just going to spin this by hand. See my spark?
kill the light. And that's me turning this uh, right here. And we can also see on my multimeter over there, if I zoom in, I'm going to be looking for my 5 to 7 volts. Uh, and on average, that's what it's getting. You could hook your distributor up to a drill and run it too. That's telling me that things are working and my ignition module is getting warm this is an older motor craft I used a 730 seconds socket and I just ground it down to fit inside there to add one of the bolts so hang tight for a second I'll just show you with a brighter light what happens when I spin this. See that? And my meter is giving me... It's hard to do with one hand here. Let me prop this up. Hang tight. There we go. I can spin the distributor much easier now and watch the multimeter over there. I'm on the 50 volt scale, but you can't read it. I don't expect you to, but I know what I'm looking for again. I'm staying lower than 10, but I'm averaging 5 to 7 volts. Depending on where the stator rests, I'll be at a zero potential. See that? Or a higher. But on average, it drops lower. I could see what the multimeter, my digital meter says about that. And there's this flickering again. Let me zoom out. Again, this gives me the ability to just start plugging away on all these parts and start hot swapping in. I'll unplug 120 volt AC, unplug my connector. This got pretty warm. If I'm gentle, I can unplug that. Oops, I bumped you guys. So that just verified the motorcraft unit. I can unplug it, set it over here, grab another. I have no idea what, this one's just busted apart. I don't know what's going on with it. I mean, the cover's off of it. be interesting to see if it actually functions. You can get me an extension on this. I've got to redo all of this and swap out PIP modules. Plug in my power supply. See what happens. I'm getting meter deflection over here.
I'm getting light flashing over there. I lost my pip signal because I lost that. There we go. This is giving me my pip voltage. I don't like that. So believe it or not, this combination is producing spark, but that's not what I'm after. What I want to do is use a spark plug. That's why I'm going to break off now, and uh, I'm going to be using this. I'm looking for pure white spark, no orange. It's got to be a bluish white spark, otherwise there's a malfunction somewhere. So that's how I'm going to be judging my spark. I'm not using my spark tester. Because we all know that if you don't have bluish white spark, damn near white spark, anything less than that will give you weak spark, which means you have something malfunctioning in your ignition module or your uh, profile ignition pickup. Alright guys, that ends this series of videos. Hope you learned something, and I hope I was able to share something. Um, remember to take it kind of slow and hook up your bench test mechanism how, with all the parts that you have. Just figure something out. Try to, try to, try to make it work. And don't blow anything up. We'll see you.